When Audemars Piguet released The Royal Oak in 1972, it was perfect. Apart from the natural improvements that would come with technical advancements in time, it was perfect. It was a flawless design by the legend Gerald Genta himself. So how could Audemars Piguet improve on a perfect design? In many ways, they couldn't. A funky, matte, luminous Arabic dial, this one lightly patinated. And it comes with its original box as well. I love wearing this watch super casually with a washed out tee and shorts. There's something very carefree about it. But you don't need to spend $25,000 on a carefree look with a great watch. Look at this Rolex Datejust. It's from 1995. It's got a smooth bezel and an oyster bracelet, a pitch black dial. It's like the Datejust equivalent of an Explorer. It's just a little bit more versatile. Now let's change pace. Let's go a little bit more professional. This is something you could wear to a casual lunch, maybe even a daytime date. A huge Cartier with a stepped bezel and a black dial, which is a super rare configuration here, by the way, with light denim and a Terry Polo. This is a really comfortable, classy look. And if you're really deep down the dress watch rabbit hole, a solid 18 karat yellow gold PSJ with a magnificent tiger's eye dial. It's colorful, it's exotic, it's fun, it's absolutely stunning. Honestly, in a world of so many cookie cutter designs, it's, it's brilliant, it's exciting, and I rarely use that word. I have a few jobs these days. I have an ad firm and a new podcast community, both of which I love. But I'll always be the curator of the Theo and Harris Watch Shop, where all the watches I just shared with you are available now for sale. And remember, they're vintage, so we don't have duplicates. Once they're gone, they're gone for good. So head on over.